All right, here's the Galaxy Table Fan. It's been a while since I did a regular video of this fan, so I figured I might as well do it. Last time I did a normal video of this fan was when I first got it. Almost, it's actually gonna be almost four years now that I got this fan. Since then, it's been my bedroom fan. Well, one of them, first it was my first table fan that I was using, then I ended up using a few more fans in my room. But um, it's starting to get more issues down the road. Well, since I've gotten it, one thing is the oscillating doesn't work anymore. I mess. I was trying to oil the oscillating portion, but I messed that up and lost the ball that makes it oscillate. But it's not a big deal. I don't even use it to oscillate, anyways. However, um, when I first got this fan, it didn't need to be oiled qu quite a bit. And since then, I've been having to oil it every now and then, every like f few to six months, and. I think I think it's time to swap this out for another fan. So I think I just do one last look of it. As you can see, it has quite a bit of dust on it on the blades. I'm not gonna throw it out, obviously, but also I'm kind of just ready for a change. Just change it out for something else, similar but just a different color. Because I do have this CD player there. And I figured I'd get something that matches it a little bit more. Even though this matches the dresser more, I'm trying to get something that's... Stuff that looks less, tiny bit less dated in the room and something that looks a tiny bit more... I can turn... Something that looks more... That looks like it's a modernish type thing, I guess. Well, you guys will see what I mean when I swap it out. But also, I figured it'd be good to give this one a break, too. Because also, this one... The only reason why I've been thinking about swapping this out is because the bearings on it are a little bit noisy compared to what I'm going to be swapping it with. So there is also that. It runs well, but it does have some... It runs well in the condition it's in, but... I think I just swap it out also just to give another fan a chance to be used, too. Kind of sad to swap. I'm kind of... He I was hesitant on swapping it up because this is my first vintage table fan. But I do need to give this one a break after all these years of being used. So, um, yeah. And this is what I'm talking about. I owed it maybe like two months before I left through the summertime and it's already like this again. Recently it's been needing to get oiled even more often so I'm guessing the bearings need to go, are starting to go out. Is it, and this is the highest speed too, it's on right now. Sometimes I had to put it on high speed. Maybe put my finger right and hit it just to get it going. I feel like that's a sign that I should swap it out and put up something different until I have the meantime to fix it properly. I am going to miss using this one, but the other one is basically the same thing. You guys should already figure it out what it is by now by the time you see this. It also, but you can kind of hear the bearing noise. It does make a bit of bearing noise on the lowest and medium speed. And it kind of bothers me sometimes at night too. Even if I oil it a lot, it will still make that bearing noise. So, um, yeah. Go ahead and move it to medium. See, when it runs well, it, it does run fine, but like, I just don't want to have to keep having to push it to start it. And I'm not looking to have to buy oil for this every few months just to oil it. And that's the other thing, so. Yeah. It's it because this and the other one, they do match the dresser well, but I'm also trying not to. Um, I'm trying to figure out, I, I, I was thinking about putting something that's the same color in their spots, but I figured maybe just try something that matches the other stuff in the room too. I mean, this matches the, this and the wake would do match well, but I'm also kind of ready for a change as well. I usually use this on the medium speed the most. Um, yeah, I do need to, it does need to be cleaned, so that's another thing. 
I just don't like to take off the grill on this one too much because I don't want to risk breaking those plastic things that hold them. It's one thing I don't like about these type of, about these is that they you don't know, have the metal slats that hold them in place. It. it does make some bearing noise on medium too. Not from high speed. And despite these type of fans being childhood, I don't think I ever actually saw one in a brownish finish like this. Brown and tan. I saw more like the uh, white with light, like a grayish brown coloration. Those are the types I would see more. So like the Sears I just saw at Savers. Those are the ones I would see more as a kid. So those are in a way more childhood than this. This is just the first one I found though. Or even just ones with gray blades in general. Like the wind in my grandmother's basement. Never really did see brown ones like these too much as a kid. Or the blue ones. I'd see more blue ones in the the American Republic, like the Universals and such. I just have those he easier here because I figured they'd, they'd look nice. But now I figured I'd put something that's more childhood, I guess. Still moves good air. And I know it would move more air if I cleaned it. But again, I just try not to take off the slats so much and the rest of them getting broken. Shut it off and do spin down. And there also is a blade that's out of clock, so it makes it shake a lot too. So um, yeah, that is one reason why I've been thinking about swapping it, because it makes it shake a lot in the high setting a lot. And that sound of the, the housing shaking a lot kind of annoys me at night too. But um, yeah, that'll be it for this video. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed and stay tuned for more videos to come.